The Hilux New Zealand Rural Game saw the heavy hitters of wood chopping entertain the crowds at the Queenstown Recreation Ground. The Anzac Challenge featured New Zealand's top four axemen plus their trans Tasman rivals. And it was the Aussie, Jamie Head, in the hottest Three, of form. Two, one, go. Out of the blocks they go, Whalen right into it, four hits to open it up, making a nice clean job of it. Any second they'll go around to the back. Off he goes, Adam Lowe leads the front. Jamie right behind him. Little fumble by Adam, he knows he's got to pull it out to make it happen. There it goes. The accomplished work of Jamie Head keeping the big fella honest. That one goes to the Aussies. So it was the Queenslander Jamie Head that claimed individual honours at the Hilux New Zealand Rural Games. Kiwi captain Shane Jordan was close behind in second, with the great Jason Winyard taking out third spot. So to the glamour event, the big crowd had come to see. Four of New Zealand's best axemen against four of Australia's finest. It's the Anzacs Team Relay. Three, two, one, go. Ladies it's going to be a quick race, everybody. <laughs> if you're a foreigner, get in behind these Aussies. If you're a Kiwi, unlike yourselves and let's get behind them. Neck and neck, they're into it now. Oh, they're both off together. It's the single saw now. Jason Winyard making quick work of it. Jamie Head not too far behind. Kyle's into it. Lawrence a great underhand cutter. He knows what's required of him right now to bring them back in the race. Kyle Lemon loving it. Stretching it out to a reasonable lead here for the Kiwis. Off they go. Big at him. Thumping away. And he's around in six hits. What's he going to do on the back? Getting ready to drive any second. The Kiwis will be off. It's shaken. It's done. The Kiwis take out the Anzac team's relay. Well, Jason, we weren't able to take the individual title, but we won the trophy for the relay. Am I satisfying for you? Oh, a little bit disappointing with the individual stuff, but um, hey, sometimes that's how it works out. We've got a great bunch of competitors here, and it's um, it's always good to go up against them. Uh, talk to me about the axe you've got here, you've got in front of us, because I mean, it looks it looks brutal uh, to me. You were going to take a bit of hair off me, but it needs a bit of sharpening. Eh? It takes a bit of work to keep keep on on song. Oh, most times they'll they'll shave, like you'll you'll be able to shave with them, but. Um, just this poplar is really abrasive and it takes the edge off after each time you use it so normally normally we're touching them up but um, today I was using different axes and different disciplines so um, but they, they hold the edge real well they're, they're made in Masterton yeah they're called uh, Tuatahi Racing Axes the company there has been making them for over 30 years and uh, they make the best ones in the world so we're really lucky how much is technique versus power oh it's a it's a pretty 50 50 balance I reckon um, you can't have just one or the other um, the ultimate is, is good, like great technique with um, with awesome power, and yeah. some of these guys, you know, they they show that. And um, but it's it's always a, a balancing act. You you're trying to get good technique and still develop the maximum amount of power. So it's it's a real balancing act with the day. Well done, a great competition. They may have the best individual, but it doesn't matter. We've got the best team. That's the most important thing.